Praise the Lord. We are so grateful. My name is Bishop Paul Corir, the Bishop of the Anglican Diocese of Kapsabet. The Anglican Diocese of Kapsabet was started in the year 2016, and we have seen the grace of God upon grace. Uh, when God gave us this diocese, we were so certain that this was our mission field. And so every time we want to be a church which is outward looking, and that is why we have our vision, a sustainable and transformative diocese rooted in the Word of God for ministry and service to the church and society. And our mission is actually the vehicle uh, with which we use to attain our vision, which we are focusing. And our mission is actually, we can say the mission of the church is the mission of Christ. And so as Kapsabe Diocese, our mission is preaching the gospel to win souls for Christ and serving people faithfully and graciously, uh, so that we may inspire and transform their lives. That is why we exist. And for us to do that, we came up with this uh, Anglican Kapsabet uh, Plaza, which is uh, going to facilitate our mission and ministry as we serve the people of God entrusted to us, looking even beyond the jurisdiction of the Anglican Diocese of, 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 of Kapsabet. And so the question would be, uh, where are we now? The construction is ongoing and we are grateful to where we are now because the overall work progress is 35 percent at now. We have split this construction into two phases. So the phase one we are now at 65 percent and so currently we are at the third floor slab level. Expected completion date is 12th of December 2021. The laying of the foundation stone is set to take place on the 9th of October 2021 to be presided over by His Grace, the Archbishop, the Most Reverend Dr. Jackson Olesabit. This will accelerate and inspire our commitment to this just cause. When we see the building rising from the ground, we are test of God's goodness. What we are expecting from this building when it is in completion, the gross revenue will be 6,541,500 per month. Less management and administrative cost at 20%, it will be Kenya shillings, 1,308,300. Net revenue per month will be 5,233,200. Net revenue per year will then be 62,798,400 Kenya shillings. I am happy and I know that uh, when the diocese is sustained through uh, SEK Plaza when it is completed, I, am, I have no doubt in my mind that the women's ministry will grow. And uh, so when the diocese is sustained, then the women's ministry will also be sustained. So what's our future? That's the question which can come. Our desire actually is to be ascending diocese. We, we see ourselves as the analogy of the airport. When you see the plaza, it is a strategically positioned. It's like saying, welcome to Kapsabet, the, the headquarters of Nandi County, which is the center also of our diocese. This is the headquarters of the diocese and the bishop's office. So it's like you are received to be equipped and to be sent to go back. So it's like an airport. So you check in and then you check out. And so we see this plaza as an empowering tool which will send missionaries to go to the Muslim world. We want to target that one in the future, locally within Kenya and even globally. We want to reach out and share the love of Christ and so we, when we look at this plaza, it is the mission, it is the ministry tower that is just there to represent the kingdom of God and to bless uh, his work and the gospel ministry. As at now, we have utilized 55,671,160. The amount outstanding for base one is 33,420,431. Fourteenth of November, we are having a grand fundraiser. We are targeting to raise thirty million plus because we want the work to continue, 
and, and so on the 14th of, of November, we are praying and we are trusting God that we will congregate at uh, ASK Showground Kapsabet. And we know there is Corona, but in representation, we want to be present and to participate in this. Let us continue to give ourselves and to give resources, to give our time until we see this work done because in that way we are participating in the higher calling in that way we are participating in in contributing to um, uh, the the great commission that jesus said go ye and make the disciples of all nations so friends let's journey this is a journey of excitement and we thank god so much thank you very much and god bless the diocese of kapsabet god bless our friends god bless our gospel partners and god bless the leadership even of this country as we partner together and god bless our christians and our clergy thank you very much at sunday sana